has been built it is also the architect of humanity's future as education ministers you are the sherpas leading mankind in our efforts for development peace and prosperity for all in indian scriptures the role of education has been described as being key to bring joy vidya dadati vinayam vinayat याति पात्रता पात्रत्वात् धनमा प्रोप्ति धनार्धम ततः सुखम इट मीन्स ट्यू नॉलेज गिव्स ह्यूमिलिटी फ्रॉम ह्यूमिलिटी कम्स वर्दिनेस फ्रॉम वर्दिनेस वन गेट्स वेल्थ वेल्थ enables a person to do good deeds and this is what bring joy this is why in india we have embarked on a holistic and comprehensive journey we believe that foundational literacy forms a strong base for our youth and we are also combining it with technology for this we have started the national initiative for proficiency in reading with understanding and numeracy or nipun bharat initiative i am glad the foundational literacy and numeracy has been identified as a priority by your group as well we must resolve to work on it in a time bound manner by 2030 excellencies our objective has to be to provide quality education with better governance in this we have to adapt and use new e learning innovatively in india we have taken several initiatives of our own one such program is the study webs of active learning for young aspiring minds or swayam this online platform hosts all courses from class 9 to the post graduate level it enables students to learn remotely and focuses on access equity and quality with over 34 million enrollments and more than 9000 courses it has become a very effective learning tool we also have the digital infrastructure for knowledge sharing or diksha portal this is aim at students in remote areas and those unable to attend regular classes teachers utilize it to deliver school education through distance learning it supports learning in 29 indian languages and seven foreign languages it has witnessed over 137 million course completions india would be happy to share this experience and resources particularly with those in the global south excellencies to make our youth future ready 
we need to continuously skill reskill and upskill them we need to align their competencies with evolving work profiles and practices in india we are undertaking skill mapping our education skill and labor ministries are working in tandem on this initiative g20 countries can undertake skill mapping at the global level and find gaps that need to be plugged excellencies digital technology serves as an equalizer and promotes inclusivity it is a force multiplier in increasing access to education and adapting to future needs today artificial intelligence offers great potential in the field of learning skilling and education with opportunities technology also poses challenges we have to strike the right balance the g20 can play an important role in this excellency in india we have laid emphasis on research and innovation as well we have set up 10000 atal tinkering labs across the country these are acting as research and innovation nurseries for our school children more than 7.5 million students are working on more than 1.2 million innovative projects in these labs g20 countries with their respective strengths can play a key role in promoting research and innovation especially among the global south i urge you all to create a path for increased research collaborations excellency your meeting holds immense significance for the future of our children and youth i am glad that your group has identified green transition digital transformation and women's empowerment as accelerator for achieving sustainable development goals education is at the root of the, all these efforts i am confident that this group will come out with an inclusive action oriented and future ready education agenda this would benefit the whole world in the true spirit of vasudev kutumbakam one earth one family one future i wish you all a productive and successful meeting thank you